Things are once again moving in Whitehaven after the county clerk's office temporarily shut its doors when the air conditioning went out earlier this month. Today, drivers were able to return. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. Things are back to business inside the Whitehaven office, but the brakes may be pumped on the clerk's administration. Commissioners have decided to take up a no confidence vote following complaints related to delays with distributing license plates. WREG Strata Patterson with what's new and next. Mr. Lorenzo Jones came prepared Monday, packing a lawn chair and his patients. My wife woke me up and told me the tag place was open, so I jumped out of bed running, getting on over here. It paid off. Yeah, yeah, first in line. And the first to be seen at the clerk's office here in Whitehaven after it was closed for a week after the air conditioning went out. Mr. Jones was understanding. Probably just had to wait it out. But he was also in need of his tags, or he could face a possible fine if stopped by police. No, they don't want to hear nothing about no air. They just want to write you that ticket. This line started forming at 6.30 Monday morning, even though the office did not open until 8 a.m. I'm really happy about this being open. But there are other issues still being figured out after the Shelby County Commission announced plans to take a no-confidence vote against the clerk's office. Commissioners say hundreds of complaints were made following license plate delays across the area, and commissioners say the backlog is not happening anywhere else. Still, there is a light at the end of the tunnel for those here. Unfortunately, for those like Mr. Jones, he's not alone. Nearly two hours after arriving before the clerk's office even opened dozens, joining the crusade to get their tags finally, in spite of growing lines, which for some has led to growing frustration. Coupled with confusion as drivers wait and watch to see how the commissioners plan to move forward. Reporting in Whitehaven, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. And to update this story just moments ago, that vote of no confidence was actually delayed. It is now scheduled for August 8th.